Have you ever been so inspired to do anything creative that you spend hours and hours on your phone just endlessly scrolling through the same content over and over again? Have you ever been so overwhelmed that you don't even know where to start? As a creative, it's sometimes so exhausting to get things done as everything quickly piles up from project to project. And sometimes it's the complete opposite where work is completely dead, yet you still don't know where to start. My name is Victor and I want to share with you guys the importance of organization and pre-production in terms of filmmaking and also some ways to reignite that spark into creating something, whether it's a video, photo or an art project or anything that sparks your creative juices. Again, you wear a lot of hats in terms of being a freelancer and that you kind of just do everything on your own. So sometimes you're finishing a project, you get an email about it, and then you're starting up a new project and just things can go out of hand really quickly without organizing your thoughts and your time. Tip number one is to organize and plan out your days to stay structured and focused as a creative. So there are only a handful of apps that I use to kind of just manage my time as a creative, also my daily life and kind of just like structure my schedule all throughout. So that's Gmail, Google Calendar, Notion, and also Occiflow, which is actually a sponsor of this video. So thank you, Occiflow. Let's get into the computer. I'll show you guys how I kind of manage everything. So this is the homepage of my Occiflow and you can see kind of like my schedule for the week and what I have to do as well. This is my inbox is kind of like all the stuff that I need to do. So on here on the inbox tab, you can just add whatever tasks that you want. Let's just say Occiflow video edit and then it's gonna appear here. All you have to do is drag it on a time that you are free to do some work. And then let's just say it'll take about two hours to edit the video and it'll be blocked in there. One of the good things about Occiflow is that it's integrated with my Google Calendar as well, my Gmail and also Notion. So as you can see here on my inbox, I have some emails that came in that I need to reply at some point this week. Task on my to-do list on Notion where these are the things that I need to work on this week as well. And then others are just manually put on here, kind of just like the YouTube content. And once you're done, we're actually done the FX30 versus XH2S video. So I'm just gonna mark it done. Another cool thing is the command bar from Occiflow. No matter what you're doing throughout the day, whatever program you are on, you can just hit option and space and it'll bring up the command bar. And then let's just say I'm editing this Occiflow video and then let's just say March 24, 1 p.m. And then it's gonna add that for me and I can just drag it. Let's just say I will edit the video for two hours. And then if I do want to integrate that to my calendar, I can just hit this lock button. And then now on Friday, it's now synced up with my Google Calendar. So you might be wondering why some things aren't on my Google Calendar. These are flexible times for me because I'm just shooting or editing at home, or maybe I'm planning or researching something that I'm working on. And definitely the best feature of all is the integration between the apps that I use. That's with Notion, Gmail, and Google Calendar. And as you can see here, these are all from my Notion stuff and that it's connected to my to-do board on my homepage on Notion. So if we add a task on editing, let's just say it's the Aki Flow video, and then we hit sync. So then now I can just, again, just drag and drop this. And if I want to put that on my calendar, all I have to do is lock in that calendar. And that's how I organize my life and stay productive with Occiflow. Now, if you want to try Occiflow to stay organized with your creative workflow, click on the link down below to try it for free. Tip number two, find inspiration, set a goal and create a roadmap on how to achieve that goal. Now, one thing that really inspires me is watching TV shows and watching movies that I truly can get inspiration from how they shot a film, how they shot a scene, and how they use different colors, different set design, and usually go on Shot Deck or Frame Set app if I'm doing commercials, and that's where I get my inspiration from. And if I don't know how to do it, I'm gonna try and set a goal to see how I can decipher it. I can reverse engineer what I see on screen, on the frame, and then from there on, I can just really try and recreate that with the tools that I have available and to kind of mimic that idea. And 
inspiration doesn't even need to be films or TV shows. It can be anything. It can be art. It can be architecture. It can be the place you travel to. And yes, it's nice to get some inspiration from social media, but oftentimes it's designed to keep you hooked into the platform. And instead of being inspired, you're just sucked in with your phone endlessly scrolling. And next thing you know, half an hour, an hour passes by and you haven't done anything or you haven't been inspired to do anything. Third and last tip is kind of pretty self-explanatory. Rinse and repeat because there's a whole different spectrum in terms of filmmaking as well because you have art design, lighting, 3D, VFX, sound effects, sound design. That's why people specialize, but also it's good to know in terms of working with others. If you kind of know what they do in their jobs and their specific role in the film set or in a production, you kind of understand what makes the most sense in terms of production. The more you learn about everything in the industry, because one, you can understand what others do in the film set that will help you collaborate with them, thus them being happy to collaborate with you in terms of your vision or in that video that you're working on. And that's it. Those are my three main tips for you guys to stay focused as a creative. Stay organized, find inspiration and keep practicing. And if all else fails, take a break and go back at it once you have replenished your creative juices. And as usual, I'm giving away my Sunset Film Mod Pack and all you have to do to win is comment down below. Are you also guilty of endlessly scrolling on social media and find no inspiration at all? If you wanna watch another video of mine, click on this video right here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. No one